Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at Windows XP Delta Edition, which is a custom version of Windows XP that implements some of the visual elements from the operating system's Beta 2 era. So this is pretty much designed to be an OS that looks like it's a beta build of XP, but it's actually based on the final RTM release, build 2600. And there are a lot of visual enhancements in this build, and that begins not only with the boot screen you saw right at the beginning but also right here on all of these prompts you can see we have new icons up here and we're just going to go with the default options here enter our name and this does require a windows xp volume license key so you have to have one of those to activate this build and get past this prompt here and i gotta say i'm definitely a fan of this boot screen i think it really of course <laughs> well we're running this in a vm here on my main computer so it's going to go by pretty quickly but uh, i think it's a nice kind of mesh between the the Whistler style with that all white Windows logo and the final XP boot screen. It's just a nice merging of those two together. Now the out of box experience also gets modified as well. Got some little changes down here, the addition of Delta edition and the updated copyright date, which is uh, yeah, a nice touch for sure. But here's the new intro video, which I really like very, very well done. And you'll notice We've got Merlin instead of the animated question mark. Now, Merlin was present as the assistant here in uh, Windows XP beta build, so it's nice to see him back. Um, aside from him, though, everything else is pretty much the same. We've got the same prompts and everything. And yeah, check that out. We've got a new login sound as well. There's also a log off sound. I'll just show you what that sounds like. Now, we didn't really get to see the log on screen because it just logged us right into our user account, but uh, this is kind of how it looked in some of the XP Beta 2 builds. Uh, there's a lot more animation, like when you click on your user profile here, you see the text kind of slides to the left side. So you've probably noticed by now that XP Delta contains both official assets from XP Beta 2 builds, but also some unofficial stuff just added in on top of that, like the intro video that we saw during the out-of-box experience. And speaking of official stuff, we've got the older variant of the Luna theme applied here, and they even went ahead and not had the taskbar locked by default it's actually unlocked in some of the beta 2 builds but we can of course change that here let's just do that going into the start menu here you can see that all programs has been changed to more programs which yeah it's just a little minor thing here but this is how it was labeled in some of the beta 2 builds so there's a lot of attention to detail which i definitely appreciate see we've got some different icons like for run here and what's definitely not a really small change is if we go into properties here and go to appearance we've got a ton of visual styles to choose from. We've got watercolor, we've got Whistler style, which is the older Luna variant, and we even have the final XP Luna variants in here too. So you can see how they change uh, there. I'll just you know, apply the old one here. So yeah, there's definitely some notable difference uh, between these two. And we have the three standard variants of the Luna theme, but they have their older original name. So Homestead would eventually become Olive Green and Metallic would become Silver. We also have the Windows Classic style, not super noteworthy, but there it is. We've got all the different color schemes as well. And watercolor has uh, all the watercolor variants too, which is definitely much appreciated because as I've said before on this channel, I am definitely a fan of the watercolor theme. It's probably my favorite Windows visual style. I just really like the way it was done. Of course, it was never meant to be a final thing, which is kind of disappointing because you kind of wonder sometimes if Microsoft, you know, went with this instead of going with Luna. But at the same time, the Luna theme is so iconic and it's it's hard to imagine XP not having it, but yeah, I'm going to actually apply the violet one here uh, for the rest of the video, or not the rest of the video, because we'll come back to this in a moment, because there are some additional things you can install on top of this that adds some more options in here. And uh, yeah, we've got some screensavers here too. The Windows XP logo one has been modified to add Delta Edition to the bottom there. And there's also a custom flying Windows screensaver with the XP flag, which I definitely appreciate because I'm also also a huge fan of this screensaver 
it's pretty freaking awesome. In fact, I have it as my screensaver on my main computer. Not that my monitors need a screensaver, but I just have it because I think it's cool. Under desktop, there are some additional wallpapers, and you've probably noticed that Red Moon Desert is the default one, as it was uh, throughout some of the Beta 2 builds. But we do have uh, the Windows XP logo wallpaper from build 2465, and there is the professional wallpaper that we saw in some of the builds as well if i can find that here there it is professional we'll go ahead and just apply this because this definitely gives me that beta vibe because uh, I, I just always associate this with particularly build 2419 because i did a super old video on installing that there's also let me not get out of this too quickly there is a custom wallpaper uh the windows xp logo one actually i'm going to apply this uh, because i think this is pretty cool too it is uh, a modified it's, it's actually not red moon desert entirely this is one of the composited shots of the kind of daytime sky with clouds in it but with the hill from red moon desert just with an added layer on top of it and and the logo up here, which is a nice touch for sure. Going back into more programs here, there are some additional programs that have been brought over from older releases of Windows that were just cut from XP. So we've got the clock here. I always like this program. We can also change to the analog one and, you know, just have it like a super large freaking clock on your computer, like Windows 1.0 style. What is exciting though, at least to me anyways, is they have brought back the Welcome to Windows program uh, that you saw in like Windows 95 through 2000. Well, they've taken Windows 2000's Welcome program and they've modified it with Delta Edition branding, which I think is a, is a nice touch as well. You also have the older version of Windows Movie Maker, version 1.1 here with version 2.6. And you have three versions, yes, three versions of Windows Media Player. So this is the standard one uh, that comes with XP, though they just modified the icon here to make it look older, but it is Media Player 9. Now, the other versions don't show up in here, and that's because you have to run a post-install script on the CD. So if you double click it here, the auto run will open up and you've got this post install script option. You want to click that and hit yes, and it will take care of that for you. Now this script does run in the background after you install and, and log into the OS for the first time. But when you run this version of media player, if these two other versions were listed in here, they would disappear and you have to run the post install script again to, to get them back in this list. So you've got media player 6.4 and media player 95. Why do you need three media players? Well, you don't, but it's cool to see them all in here. Another interesting thing is they have brought back the program manager. If we go under system tools here, it's right here. It does get a new icon as well. Now, you would typically be able to get this in XP and, well, by effect, all this stuff if you did upgrade from like an earlier version of Windows, like we did in the massive Windows upgrade videos. I've done like a few of those over the years. You know, if you start with Windows 3.1 and upgrade to 95, 98, me, and then XP, you're going to have a lot of these programs left over. So, uh, you know, it's not like you, you couldn't get this stuff in Windows XP. It just did not come uh, with it by default if you did a clean install. So you've got Program Manager there. And also you have uh, three versions of the Tor program. So you've got the standard one from the final RTM release, but you also have the Windows Whistler test app here, which is just hilarious to look at because of how just with all these animations and the picture going around, it's just, it's nuts. But this was a real thing. We also have Tor Windows XP Beta 2, which is not an official thing by itself, because as you can see, it says it opens an enhanced version of the Tor from Windows XP 2465. So what they've done is they've taken that tour and they've added in some parts from build 2475, which are both release candidate one builds. But even with that being the case, it's still a nice inclusion. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. So yeah, we won't go through the entirety of it in this video, but there it is. And all of that brings us to the XP Delta Edition Extras Pack, which is a separate download that's available, but it just adds not only some bug fixes, but also a bunch of additional visual stuff like wallpapers. You've got some more visual styles. There's some sound packs included. We'll go ahead and just install it here. And there's also, this is pretty neat, you can change the pinball leaderboard for Space Cadet Pinball to have the 
developer scores on the leaderboard to where you could kind of play uh, to try to beat that score, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, so we'll say, yeah, sure, why not? We'll, we'll do that. And yeah, so we'll get out of that. And now if we go back into properties here and go to appearance, we've got even more themes to choose from. So you've got embedded, you've got Royale, pretty much all of the other uh, XP official themes. You've got Zune here. But what we don't have is the Mallard visual style, also known as the sample test visual style. Great name, Microsoft. Uh, that was included in a few pre-beta 2 builds of XP. If we go over to desktop here, though, there are a ton of wallpapers, and most of the added ones in here are from the localized versions of XP Starter Edition. But not only that, you've got the Zune wallpaper, you've got this Xbox Live one, you've got the ones from the Winter Fun Packs, which I've demoed on this channel before. Just an absolute ton of them, which is just really, really cool to see. And last but not least, let's take a look at the sounds. So if we go, or take a listen to the sounds, rather. So yeah, we got a decent amount in here, though my favorite is definitely Utopia. Uh, you may recognize these sounds from Microsoft Bob. Maybe not that one, but like if we go to exclamation here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I just got Microsoft Bob is, uh, is a whole nother rabbit hole. Though it did not use all of the Utopia sounds, but it used a good amount of them. Yeah, there you have it, guys. That is a brief demonstration of Windows XP Delta Edition. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.